Multiparametric MRI of the prostate done to a high quality, reported by an expert reader, doesn't sit on its own. This is a test that will allow my colleagues in urology and oncology to make decisions about whether a man should have a biopsy or not and what type of biopsy that should be. So the first thing I would say is clinicians need to look at other patient factors like age, family history, ethnic background, PSA density to make a decision about whether a man should or should not have a biopsy. Promise um, showed us that actually these, these two tests are rather complementary with one another. And in fact, if we can design a diagnostic pathway that incorporates the strengths of both, we maybe will make a really step leap forward in terms of how we diagnose um, disease. So if we can combine the high sensitivity of MRI with the high specificity of truss, we're really going to improve um, uh, the accurate diagnosis of, of, of prostate cancer in men. And one of the important ways in which we might do this is that if the MRI is always done before the truss biopsy, for those men in whom a biopsy is recommended, that those MRI images can be very useful to the urologist in directing those biopsy needles to exactly the right places in the prostate where they suspect the cancer is. So a quarter of men could avoid an immediate prostate biopsy. Is that a safe approach? I think it is because men would still be under clinical monitoring with a repeat PSA and if they needed a biopsy later on, they could still have that biopsy if necessary. But there was no need to do an immediate biopsy. And quite a number of advantages to avoiding biopsying men who have a non-suspicious multiparametric MRI done to a high quality and reported to a high quality. Firstly, biopsies are toxic. Normally, truss biopsy takes samples of tissue through contaminated back passage, the rectum, and there is a 2 to 6% risk of urinary infection. A lot of those infections are life-threatening sepsis. Well, having a truss biopsy um, is one of those memories that um, brings tears to men's eyes generally, and especially to mine because it's as fresh as the day it was done. And there's a certain amount of discomfort, but it's not unpleasant discomfort really, apart from taking the biopsies themselves. And uh, once half a dozen have been done, you're really hoping for it to stop soon. So men don't want to have this sort of test unless it's absolutely necessary. And importantly, because it is a random biopsy test, the other problem we have with truss biopsy is it detects clinically insignificant cancers, the sort of cancers that won't grow, won't spread and at the moment are being detected unnecessarily and are being treated unnecessarily. There is no survival advantage in treating low-risk prostate cancers and yet we are doing it all the time because a man has a truss biopsy. So I think it's very important that Urologists and radiologists have confidence in multiparametric MRI that is done to a high quality and reported by an expert reader so that they can avoid biopsying men who have a non-suspicious MRI. The only way to overcome the 10% miss rate is not by doing a truss biopsy which has a 1 in 3 miss rate. That just doesn't make logical sense. The only way to overcome the miss rate is to do a mapping biopsy under general anaesthetic which is very expensive, very burdensome and carries significant toxicity and most of the urology departments would collapse if they had to do that. Well our research that we carried out in 2016 showed that only about a third of men are currently getting access to NPMRI before biopsy um, and we know that's not good enough. So Prostate Cancer UK are working to support and encourage health bodies across the UK, both locally and nationally, to address their resource challenges. We've done freedom of information research um, to find out where, what's currently happening on the ground, to identify where there are scanner capacity issues uh, and also any other barriers there might be to implementation across the UK. We're also working with the national funding bodies like NHS England 
uh, to uh, make sure that the funding is made available where there are capacity constraints. And then at the same time, uh, we're working to ensure that radiologists have got the right training so that they can build confidence in interpreting uh, the scans. And we're working on a quality assurance system to ensure that wherever a man goes in the UK uh, and has a scan, that it's always done to the same consistent standard. To summarise, the impact of MPMRI before biopsy is that men can get access to a less invasive and more accurate diagnosis. And this is the biggest step forward in prostate cancer diagnosis for decades and has the potential to save many lives.